what's going on everybody it's your girl chanel stevens i'm back again with another video and in this video i want to basically give you guys some bang and bang and value where i'm actually giving you a campaign that you can go out right after this video and set up now i know my recent videos that i just dropped they were actually giving you campaigns um ways i would set them up and things like that and um just a little update on that if you want to set this up i advise you to watch my earlier videos but you know we actually went and we uh, went to the page transparency for Kim Zodiac and um, she actually had an update with her ad. So you can see here, she just launched these uh, the summer box um, for the actual offer. And the offer was this offer right here, the Fab Fit Fun Box. And it comes with a $10 off code so that you can actually use in the copy, some more video creatives. And it is allowed on social, so you can do uh, use this ad. And um, this is really a good ad because, you know, it's a celebrity figure. And I broke all the reasons why it was a good ad. But, you know, when we went over it, it was actually for this ad. And it was actually for the spring box. And I said it's still good because she's a celebrity and stuff like that. But I would still use this ad. And I would, you know, you just have more and more creative. So it's a really, really good opportunity to promote this. Um, I did check the actual landing page. And it looks like the landing page just updated. So it's no longer summer box. It does say fall box, but I don't think that that actually matters. So if you want to set that up, go watch my other videos. That'll be another campaign you can test out. I want to go over another campaign I actually found in top offers. And my actual affiliate manager told me this was a good offer. Um, if any of you guys are in affiliates, you should definitely ask your affiliate managers. But you can see it is here on the top offers. It's a $1.44 EPC, 2.93 uh, conversion rate. So, I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, it's definitely an offer I would run because it has a high EPC. You probably need a little uh, on a higher end on the budget because of the cost per action. You actually need them to uh, pull out a credit card and actually buy. And if um, it fires on an actual valid purchase, just like on this offer, it fires on an actual purchase. Um, and I like these type of offers. You guys know I do uh, click bang and I like those type of offers. And I also like uh, cost per lead offers a lot. But these work really, really well and they give you high EPC. But most of you guys know I only run offers that give me high EPC. I'm looking for those dollar something returns on my clicks. Uh, but that's just me. I don't like low EPC offers like where I'm getting 10 cents EPC, 20 cents EPC. It's just hard. You have, you need a lot, a lot of cash flow to um, basically make some money because you're going to need a lot of clicks for them 20 cent clicks to basically come out very, very profitable. So what I want to just, I just wanted to update you guys on that so you can check out her page and go to page transparency and watch my other videos. But I basically wanted to show you guys the ads that I found for this offer right here, Troop Finder. So we can go right here and to True Finder, this is the actual uh, offer my affiliate manager told me is really good. That I should set up. All right, so we can see the payout, $45 CPA. Um, you can see, you can use it for social. Um, and basically, yeah, he was just saying it, it works really, really well on Facebook. So this is another offer. So I went on to the uh, ads library and I was able to find this actual page um, running some ads. And they've been running all month. So I'm pretty sure they're profitable because nobody would sit there and spend money on traffic for a month that wasn't actually making the money. Now, how much profitable it is, I'm not sure. But this is just another done for you campaign that you can actually set up. So you can see here that he has um, numerous, numerous ads. Um, this looks like just a random fan page, but I would even make like a better fan page or something uh, that's a little better than this. But you can see here, uh, you can just rip all these pictures right here and just use this copy. Um, you can also check out the landing page right here. And it looks like it goes to a cheater will always cheat. And you actually have that actual landing page. Uh, let me go here. Let's see, landing page, a cheater will always cheat. Yeah, so they actually give you this landing page. So you can see here, this is the same page as um, this one right here. So you can also see this is a really good offer. It actually gets 13 million hits per month. Um, it is a US type offer, so I'll promote this in the United States. So this is definitely something I would set up and I would run just to test out. And the reason I'm giving it to you guys because, you know, I have my hands full with a lot of different things I'm working on right now. So I just want to show you guys what's out there. There's tons and tons of opportunity in CPA affiliate marketing right now that you're not even aware of because you're not out in the ads library doing your research, looking up these different top offers that's in these different networks and seeing what's actually available. It's a lot of different 
uh, offers that's available right now, making money for tons and tons of affiliates. You just have to go out there and um, do the research so you can figure out what's actually working because I don't advise people that are just beginning to just start from scratch and just throw something up and think it's going to work. I actually want you to find somebody who's actually winning at this thing and just copy what they do. Um, it's really that simple. It's crazy. CPA marketing is mostly about just finding winning stuff already and kind of like improving upon it and just, you know, adding your own little twist to it. You know, I'm not saying go out there and copy his exact ads because I know it's a lot of, I have a lot of weird people that watch my videos that is going to see this and be like, oh, so let me just make a page called train rides and just do the exact same thing. Honestly, that's kind of stupid because what Facebook does now is when they see duplicate pages and duplicate copies, you're going to get banned and you're going to be hitting me up like, oh, I got banned and things like that. When you over here copying other people's fan pages and stuff, just be unique, make a unique fan page. That's the smart thing to do. Make something unique, you know? And, you know, you can use a similar copy, but I would even, you know, use the copy and I would test out different types of copy because it's not one copy that can just, I mean, this probably does well, but if you tweak this a little bit, you know, maybe change a sentence, the last sentence or something, you could play around with the first sentence, you know, there's things you can test that actually raise your click through rate and actually have you getting more clicks so you'll actually be surprised and you can even play around with this copy as well um but you can use the images the images should be fine you could even maybe compile the images make a video um it's just different things you could actually do to just make this better instead of just ripping exactly what you see here on the as library so when you do do research don't rip exactly like take exact fan page because a lot of you guys do that. That's weird. And you're just going to get banned because Facebook does not want to see duplicates of anything. Really, once they see duplicates, you're going to get flagged because if they see two, three, four people, think about it. If you're doing some dumb stuff like that, it's probably somebody out there that did some stupid stuff like that, too. So they're going to do it. Then it's going to be three, four, five, six pages named train rides running these same ads with the same copy. And all y'all are going to get flagged. Him who started running it originally is going to get flagged and you guys. So don't do that. You know, be unique. And that's just my little rant on being unique because I saw um, even in my training course, I had some done for you campaigns. It's like people just sit there and copy exactly. Even though I say be unique, make your own fan page. They still go out there and name the fan page exactly what I name mine. They use ex exact same images. Take the exact content off my page. And it's just like, you're just going to get flagged. And then when they're banned, they, they're in my inbox crying. Like, oh, and I'm like, let me see what you set up. And it's literally just a duplicate. So you can't do that. Don't do that. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just go into the ad section and just show you how we actually set this up. So I'm inside the Facebook ads manager right now. You can see I actually made a whole ad account based around the fan page that we created together in my um, recent video. So I'm just going to be using that. And I actually have an ad running just to warm up the ad account a little bit. And I just advise you, you know, if you making an ad, um, you know, you haven't run anything on your ad account for just, you know, boost one of the photos. That's all it is, like a boosted photo. Um, one of the pictures I posted on the actual page, I just use that as an um, actual ad and just running some traffic to it just to warm up the ad account, get some money spending, things like that. All right, so what we want to do is we want to just create a campaign. And this is basically, I just want to show you guys like what I would do as far as targeting with this Truth Finder ad. So we could just say Truth Finder... And after that, I would just put this in here. Just make it right here. All right. And as far as what I want the campaign objective to be, what I really want to do if I'm going for like a cold audience, um, I'm just testing many different demographics. And I may not even send them to the actual like landing page first. Um, what I like to do now is build up an audience in my demographic um, through video views or through people that actually like engage with my ad or something like that. So if I had a video, so what I mean is I'll send like post engagement to like a video that's targeted towards like the demographic of this page. So you can see it's about cheaters. So a cheater will always cheat. So I would target people that are in relationships. So that's one thing. And I will also target people that are maybe follow pages of like, like the show cheaters, things like that. I would even maybe get some clips, like cheater clips, like make a compilation video or something and run that and build up a dim uh, audience off of that by getting the people who watch 50% of the video, 75% of the video, 100% of the video. You can grab all those people. I also would grab 
uh, people who actually engage with the actual content. So say it was just a picture of people, I would get all the people who clicked on the actual content and engage with it, um, throw in all my likers and things like that. So I would just build up, but um, even if you didn't want to do that, I would still probably just go ahead and just start with just post engagement, especially if it's for a photo, just to like build up some engagement on it because you don't want to be sending it out straight for traffic, straight getting clicks and stuff. And it's like, you don't even, you're not even sure like, what your stats are going to be because if you can see here um you actually have some uh new metrics that really really count and that's going to be your quality ranking your rank ranking hold on i'm about to uh, go back to it it was showing it right there your quality ranking your engagement rate ranking and your conversion rate ranking and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a whole video uh talking about that but this is really um important going forward um you guys already know like cbo is coming so we'll have to do more content on that as well but these are going to be important so you just want to make sure you're paying attention to these three as you're going along but um you know if you're just going off a cold audience and you don't even know if your top targeting is dialed in right then you might see some flip-flop with these numbers so what i would just go ahead and do is just start like an audience you built up off video views or i would just try to get really 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 targeted in here so let's see how targeted we can get let's see uh, we can do uh, people in a relationship All right, so we got people that relationship status is in a relationship. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, we also can do people that are married. They can be worried about cheating as well. Um, and that looks like 76 million people on Facebook. So what we can do is we can actually like go and find more in the demographic, like should it be men, women, like the age ranges. And how we can do that is by actually going to the actual like landing page. So we know it's targeting cheaters, but you know let's see if we can find like looks like it's throwing out some marriage stats so um, marriage could be really big for this um and i'm just trying to like see if i could just get more pinpointed on the type of demographic um also we can go back to the ad library and we can just see like it kind of looks like it's targeted at men but it could be women also that women that are insecure they see a beautiful woman and they're like what's this Oh, yeah, maybe he is cheating on me with a beautiful woman. I don't know. Like, you got to kind of think about the psychology behind everything. And then um, marketing is psychology. So I advise you to just brush up on your psychology skills and everything like that when it comes to CPA marketing, because um, a lot of that does come into play with this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, looks like we would need um, like men demographic, but I would just try to just target insecure people. So let's just see if they have any like cheater type interests let's see cheater cheaters all right so it looks like they have two million people in actual cheaters so that makes it more defined i would actually make this an ad set in itself and i maybe would just go broad and just gather up data um just to see like what type of people are interacting with um either the video or the post is it more women i would just you know come back here and then actually and engage with my stats so, you know, you can come here and you can look at the breakdown by delivery and then you would want to go to age and gender. And then this is how you'll be able to see what age ranges and what genders are actually working the best. And um, my Facebook ads is going kind of slow. Just give it a minute. Well, it actually doesn't pop up with... Um, with this one but as you can see this warm-up ad you can kind of get like a, a eye for like what it looks like but you can see like 18 to 24 25 to 34 now this is not significant enough i wouldn't make no decisions off five people this doesn't mean oh i got three 25 to 34 like you know i would just give it a little more i would say at least um a thousand a few thousand impressions before i start making any uh decisions as far as like ages but you know this is more thing i would just go broad just so i can actually so i can actually see which ones are engaging the most so that would be an asset and then what i would go ahead and do is i will let me just uh turn this off so it can stop loading all right and then how i make assets easy is i just sit there and i just duplicate and I just put it in the existing campaign, just one copy, duplicate. And then I'll just come in here 
and I'll just take this out. Or I'll look at suggestions before I take it out and I'll just enter in another one. So I might stack in a relationship, married with cheaters. That's one ad set. And here's another ad set with actually like cheating. And it looks like this is 900,000 people. I'll make that an ad set. And what I would do is um, I would even... And then what I would do is I would come up here and then I would just name it, um, you know, cheating. And then you can do this one. You can just say cheaters. So you like label each one, whatever like interest you actually put in there. And then that's just a good way to just know which one is working. It looks really good on reporting. And then you can just do these ad sets at five bucks if you want, five to 10 bucks, 10 if you like really trying to get data fast. Um, but I would just come in here, boom, five. All right, and if I wanted to duplicate, what I'll do is I'll just hit duplicate. Then I'll do existing campaign. Just make sure you turn off um, use campaign budget optimization. I have to make another video, go over that um, another time. Uh, just turn that off and just put it in the existing campaign. And just duplicate. Okay. And then you'll just come down here and you'll just see what other ones we can do. So let's try the relationship counseling. I would do that. Uh, Facebook's going to give you the best suggestions in this box below. So I advise you just look through here and test all these out. And um, you can even find some more things that has to deal with uh, insecure people. And um, I would just say relationship counseling. All right. So uh, that's what I would do as far as that. And I would just name them each one. And um, that's how I would pretty much do the targeting. I told you guys, you know, what to look for. You know, make sure you're looking for um, which age and genders are you know, doing the best for you and things like that. And, you know, start getting more refined as far as that. Um, but I just wanted to really give you guys this campaign because I think it's a really good campaign. It can really work well on Facebook because it's obviously working well. I can see ads been running all month for this. So, yeah, all you got to do is just find this page and go to the page transparency on natural fan page. And then you'll be able to um, pull all this up. So set this up if you have some time, you don't have anything to do. Um, I advise you just set it up right now because you don't know how many people are going to watch this video. So take advantage um, of an opportunity and an opportunity of its lifetime. So do it now. Don't wait. All right, guys. So that's all I got for this video. If you like videos like this, uh, drop a comment. Drop me a like. If you're new to the channel, drop me a sub. I'm going to be dropping more videos very, very soon. All right, guys. Take care. Peace.